Hello everybody and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Tracing. So since the wind's starting to kick up a little bit, I figured tonight would be a good night to bring the Dobson back out here. I'm going for a target that I haven't in a pretty good while actually. If it's not, I'm going to attempt to shoot our planetary neighbor, the red planet, Mars. I'll be using the same simple setup that I've used so many times already on this channel. But if there's anybody new joining us tonight, I'll go ahead and kind of explain what I'm doing here. And also, if you are new here, please be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on anything. I've got some really high clouds that's moving in from the west right now. And uh, I've actually already got my video taken to Mars that I'm going to go in and process my image with. I took that earlier before these clouds really started moving in. Right now, it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, I want to attempt to shoot in between the clouds everything that I possibly can. It's not, I'm going to be using my Skywatcher 8 inch Dobsonian telescope. I've used it so many times on the channel already. Um, you guys can go and check out some of my older videos if you want. I've shot Jupiter and Saturn with it. And I've also taken the stab or two at regular astrophotography, which can be really hit or miss really with a Dobsonian setup. But uh, for planets, I've kind of fallen in love with this thing really because of this simple setup that I use here. It's not, all I'm going to be using is my Canon T5i, a Orion 3X Bartle lens, a T-ring, and a T-adapter. So all you do with these pieces is you take your T-ring and your T-adapter, screw your, if I can get it lined up here, screw your T-adapter into your T-ring, and then you just take your Bartle lens and insert it onto the end of the T-adapter. And then you just take all that, put that onto your DSLR like you would a normal lens, and then stick the whole thing down into the focus tube of your Dobsonian telescope. And that's it. That's gonna be my setup and shooting with tonight. So, let's go ahead and get this in here. And hopefully we got a break in the clouds coming up and see what we can get. Okay, this is me filming the back of my Canon T5i attached to my telescope. I've got the camera in photo mode right now, so I'm just kind of go in and mess with the settings. As you can see down here, I can adjust the exposure of Mars. I'll darken it up a little bit so we can bring out a little bit of the detail. Let's see. Sorry, this is going to be bumpy. One thing that's really important to note here is that the quality of Mars, uh, whenever you're actually using an eyepiece in this telescope, is going to be significantly better than, uh, you know, looking through this Bartle lens, which is also going through a camera and all that good stuff. So, I mean, this gives you a rough idea of kind of what it's going to look like through the telescope itself. But just imagine this, but in basically higher quality, if you will, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that kind of helps out a little bit. One of the things I really wish I could show you guys was the actual views through the telescope itself. I know I can hook up my camera in 10 different ways and do my best, but really the best example I can give of that is the actual finished edited image that I'm going to show you here at the end of the video. Um, you know, I can show you the back of the camera and everything, but those views just, they're just not quite crisp enough compared to what you'll actually see through the eyepiece itself. So, while well, I've got some really really clear skies right here because I can definitely see more clouds here off to the west. I am just going to go ahead and do some visual observations for the first time in a while. It's getting windy. Alright 
guys. I'm sure you can hear all this wind right now. It's getting absolutely gnarly out here. We actually have a wind advisory kicking in, I believe, in the next couple hours or so. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this picture. Like, I think it's just a, kind of a cool picture, I guess. I worked on it a whole lot really on Photoshop. Um, I went in and added in another starry background, but this time it looks way better than uh, my last few attempts at it. And um, all in all, I believe I stacked just over 2,000 frames of video. I think like uh, 2,200, something like that. But yeah, um, I'm happy with how it came out and this is this setup that I'm using is by no means a planetary imaging setup. Really, really far from it. I think it's just really cool to kind of show what the these Dobsonian style telescopes are capable of. You know, like uh, everything's all manual on it. I'm using really, really cheap Barlow lenses. Honestly, probably about the cheapest that you can get. So you can just really kind of imagine, you know, what kind of images you could get, you know, with better glass. And I'm sure there's people out there, you know, that's getting by far better quality images than what I'm getting. But I think it's just kind of fun to push, you know, what these simple Dobsonian style telescopes are capable of. One thing I was kind of fighting with all night was the high clouds, as I mentioned. Uh, they did definitely interfere with uh, the view somewhat. So I'll go ahead and show you some live views I had from my old Mars video. Uh, where you can really see the polar ice caps and everything on it. yeah that about does it for this one guys um, if you like what you see please be sure to subscribe down below and uh, hit the notification icon that way you don't miss out whenever i do upload and as always thank you all so much for watching and i hope you enjoy <laughs>